Welcome back to the channel, Crypto Tro. I am Crypto Tro, bringing you the latest and the greatest in cryptocurrencies. And today, we're going to talk about DeFi Kingdoms, and we're currently on Crystalville. And you heard that right, Quest are now live for foraging and fishing, man. So if you have heroes, you can now go to the professions and start questing. So we're going to start questing, then we're going to just look at some percentages on what you can get and what's dropping on these professions. So let's get straight into that. But before we do, make sure you like this video and subscribe to the YouTube channel. I got an entire playlist on DeFi Kingdoms. If you just click that above, you can just check out all the videos that I got on DeFi Kingdoms and really just tap in and just learn a couple of tips and tricks I've came up with along the way investing in DeFi Kingdoms. And yes, I still believe in DeFi Kingdoms. I still believe it's a good project because the team continues to build. And now with Quest now in Crystalville, we're starting to see more people use the DFK chain. So very excited to see, man, how the Quest work on Crystalville. And we're going to get straight into that. But let's check out price real quick. So right now we're on Day Screener and we're just looking at the Jewel and Route 1 pair and we can currently see price is currently at 14 cents man we see it was a um spike earlier that like earlier this month but you know it came down real fast it was a very 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 quick um spike and i think that wasn't even a real spike i think that was the day actually harmony uh had the hack so that's probably why price is up there but we see currently right now we see it's 14 cents man so I believe that's still a good price. Like, I don't think that's just a, you know, a bad price. We are, you know, in a bear market. And I continue to say that, man, we are in a bear market. So you got to just pretty much stand the rain. If you can stand the rain, usually, you know, we come out on top if the team continues to build. So we see, like I said, it's at 14 cents. But in my personal opinion, it is a good place to dollar cost average i'm not saying go all in at 14 cents but you can you know dollar cost average every week and if it's a red day you buy so that's not uh, financial advice either this just my personal take on it so let's get into it man we love to, talking about price let's get into the actual quest man then after that we're going to get into some of the drop percentages about eggs and other in-game items so let's click on professions right now. I only got one hero on the DFK chain, and it's going super, super slow. I ain't going to lie to y'all um, as far as the bridge process because I believe it's congested. Everybody was trying to do it at once. I really should have bridged more heroes beforehand, but I didn't even take my own advice, but that's cool. Um, I just really wanted to just show the actual foraging quest. So I've been foraging. Um, this was probably like, a couple of hours ago um but it doesn't take a lot or a long time for one hero to do a forging quest and we can see man the gas fees are very very cheap 0. 0.0015 joules so we're gonna confirm that and then just see what we get and yes this is my first actual quest on the dfk chain that i'm completing today so we see we completed the quest and we got you can't see it but it's, it's frost drum then we got some rock root as well. Then we got 55 plus XP. Then forging skill increased by 0.01. But it would be better if you had a hero that actually was a foraging, you know, profession. This hero's profession is gardening. Um, but I just really just sent him over to Crystalville just because I don't have that many gardens left in Serendale. So you also can do fishing. And I'm just going to let's do a fishing one as well. Um, because like I said, he did it a couple of hours ago. So my stamina is completed. And it only takes one minute if you have one hero. And that hero's profession is not fishing. So boom, the quest has started. And it's going to be a minute. So let me just go to the tavern, man. Let's just look at right now. Let's look at some floor price of the heroes. And let's just see what you can get in and, you know, buy some with some crystal. So we see right now the floor price of heroes for crystal is 35 crystal man and what's the profession on there that's a gardening profession and that's a gardening so i'm pretty sure 
it is a premium on foraging and fishing scent. The quests have just dropped, so we can see, yeah, it is a premium. Uh, that 39 is the floor price for uh, fishing and pretty much fishing. I think foraging will be higher than fishing, though, just because I believe foragers get the best drops, in my personal opinion. Like, I have uh, foragers on Serendale, and they gave me pr the most items and also the most eggs as well. But they professions are foraging, so doing mine. So we can see if you want to get in and start actually questing with that specific profession, the floor price is 39 for fishing or 39.5 for fishing and then 44 foraging. So that's really cheap, to be honest, because, like, I think I don't even know what crystal is, though. Let's check out the price of crystal, matter of fact. So right now, crystal... Crystal is about 22 cents, man. 22 cents or 23 cents. Super, super cheap, man. That's less than $100. I remember heroes were at least $100. It's way, way, way less than $100. So if you want to get in and start actually questing and buying heroes, then you can do so for very, very cheap and start playing the game. And when I think about it like this, a lot of people, a lot of people want to come into it thinking about it as you know a get rich overnight type of investment but if you truly believe in that project you will actually play the game and actually when you play the game you improve your hero and your hero appreciates itself because now people will pay a premium if you have a hero that's a fishing hero and their profession is you know an eight and above or a ten and above whatever the case may be or they have a higher level because we know the level 10 professions are coming soon as well. So it's going to be super exciting to see, man, people actually playing the game and leveling up their heroes because that's what I'm personally doing. And I want to see my heroes appreciate. And when I play the game, if I ever decide to sell my heroes, they're going at a higher premium because I played the game and leveled them up the right way. So like I said, heroes are very, very cheap. But let's go back to the professions and let's see what we got from our fishing quest. And like I said, it's always better to do the quest with or match the hero's profession with that specific quest. But it doesn't mean you automatically have to. That's just my personal opinion on it. That's what I do. But I know some people who just quest or do any quest with any hero. It's up to you, but I like to match my hero's quest with their profession so on this specific one we didn't get anything except for experience points and that's cool uh, like i said it's better if you were to have the same profession now let's go to discord and if you don't know discord man discord is where the alpha information is this is where you get the good information to really make a, a sound educated guess or opinion on what's next on the game and kind of just formulate a strategy a, around the news that they dropped so we can see the latest news crystal veil item liquidity pools are finally here so specifically we pull one of each quest reward item with crystal jewel avax and usdc now that the lp tokens have been created any user can add additional liquidity via druid if they choose to do so by seeds so providing liquidity for item related pools We'll re reward users with a percentage of the DEX fees generated if other users trade the paired tokens, but it will also make you suspect, or I think they meant subject, to impermanent losses. Please keep that in mind. This will also enable trading of these items at the marketplace in Crystalville. Please be aware that liquidity is still low for these pools. High price impact and fluctuating prices are normal. Once additional liquidity is provided, prices will stabilize events. So drop chances. This is the drop chances a lot of people have been asking for. So here it is. Well, with fishing, you got the frost bloater at a 23%, iron scale at 9%, lantern iron at 9%, speckle tail at 6%, king pincer at 1%, three-eyed eel at 1%, shimmer skin at less than 1%, and we see blue egg at 0.01%. One percent. Then we got foraging is frost drone twenty three percent, rock root nine percent, nap root six percent, dark weed six percent, amber taffy four percent, shaggy cap one percent, skunk shade 
less than 1%, then great egg, 0.01%. Then with the ruins, for the runes, the drop chance is impacted if your hero has the matching profession June or gene, my fault. <laughs> for example, if your hero is a fisher, he will have a 5x increased drop chance if runes, for runes, if he is fishing. So if your hero is a fisher for the Chavez rune or fisher or forger, it's the base chance and then the matching profession chance. So if you are not a fisher or a forger or whatever the case might be, it's less than or it's 0.2%. But if you have the matching profession, it's 1%. So if you are a fisher and you're doing fishing quests, then it's 1% chance that you will get a ruin. And there goes the same for the mo Moksha rune. I think that's how you say it. I'm not sure. But if you profession does not match it, it's 0 0.006. If it does match it, it's 0 0.03. So it's always better to have that profession gene if you are trying to get a room. So with the Harmony mainnet RPC issues, we know Harmony is really just going crazy right now, man. Um, and they looking to do something to their mainnet infrastructure. But if you want to change your RPC, you could and use the poke RPC. So like I said, Discord gives you that alpha information. I always join the Discord channel, especially DeFi Kingdoms. They continue to update you and just give you confidence in what you're investing in. So like I said, very, very excited to see what's next. I might even buy some Fishers and Forgers, but I'm not sure yet. I don't know if I want to buy them on Serendale or Crystalville. Only time will tell. But I know right now Serendale is just like going crazy and I can't even do a quest or do a transaction or anything. So I might just stick to Crystalville. I don't know. I don't know. Only time will tell. But I appreciate everybody for tuning in. Just wanted to give you an update on the professions, letting you know that forging and fishing is back on Crystal. Well, not necessarily back, but it's now here on Crystalville. And also just some drop chances on the items in the game. So that's my video for today. If I added value, please hit that like and subscribe to the YouTube channel. I appreciate everybody for tuning in. I'm out of here.